Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is 5 times 6 is more than simply 30. Every now and then, you might hear someone ask, what is 5 times 6? And you may hear someone else answer, 5 times 6 is 30. What is interesting is that this question can mean several different things. When someone asks, what is 5 times 6? What they might mean is, 5 times 6 is equal to what number? The answer to that question is 30. 5 times 6 is equal to 30, and that is an important idea. But they may also know that there are many other important ideas. So when someone asks, what is 5 times 6? They may be wondering, what does 5 times 6 mean? And that is an important question. In this video, let's take a close look at both of these ideas. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Let's examine some ways that 5, 6, and 30 are related to each other. To begin, if 5 times 6 is equal to 30, then 6 times 5 is also equal to 30. And since multiplication is related to division, we also know that 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6, and 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. If we look at 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5, we can see that there are several different ways to write this idea. We can write 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. Or we can write 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5, and that can be very useful. So understanding 5 times 6 is more than simply knowing that the product is 30. Here is an array. We know that an array that is 6 by 5 will have a total of 30, and we also know that we can break 30 apart into 6 groups of 5, just like this. And when we put 6 groups of 5 together, the total is 30. And we know that we can break 30 apart into 5 groups of 6, just like this. And when we put 5 groups of 6 together, the total is 30. So we can think of 5 times 6 as 5 groups of 6. You may recognize this as repeated addition. And if we count the groups of 6, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of 6 and the total of 5 groups of 6 is 30. And if 5 times 6 is equal to 30, we also know that 6 times 5 is equal to 30. So we can think of 30 as 6 groups of 5. If we count the groups of 5, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 5, which is equal to 30. 5 times 6 is equal to 30, and there are many more important ideas. When we look on the multiplication table, we can see that 5 times 6 is equal to 30. 30 is a multiple of 5, and 30 is also a multiple of 6. In fact, if you look closely, you'll find another connection. You'll see that 30 is the sixth multiple of 5. I'll count the multiples of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 30 is the fifth multiple of 6. I'll count the multiples of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Understanding that 30 is a multiple of both 5 and 6 is very important. 5 times 6 is equal to 30, and there are many important ideas related to the number 30. As we think about the number 30, we know that if we divided it into 6 equal parts, like this, that each part would be 1 sixth of 30, and 1 sixth of 30 is equal to 5. And at the same time, if we divided 30 into 5 equal parts, each part would be 1 fifth of 30. And 1 fifth of 30 is equal to 6. When you examine 5 times 6 is equal to 30, you may notice that 30 is greater than 5, and 30 is also greater than 6. But how many times greater? Here is the answer. 30 is 6 times greater than 5. And there is another connection. 30 is also 5 times greater than 6. As you can see, there are many relationships among these numbers. So 5 times 6 is equal to 30, and that is an important idea. But as you can tell, it's not the end of the story. There are many more relationships, many more connections, and many more ideas waiting to be discovered as we take a closer look at multiplication. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is a reminder that 5 times 6 is more than simply 30.